My name is Amanda Bassinkwaite, and I'm currently a student at Trevecca Nazarene University about to complete a master's degree program in instructional design. Now, I also received my bachelor's from Trevecca in 2006, and that was in elementary education. But right after graduation, I never taught. I had the opportunity to work for a community action agency as a trainer and my job, well, they were interested in my educational background because my job was to develop trainings on how to incorporate nutrition education into the classroom that accommodated teacher schedules so that they could incorporate it but still meet the standards that the state set for their educational standards. So I started out as an education trainer, working with professionals and in the adult learning circles. And I also had the opportunity to design and develop a lot of curriculum to take out into the community that aligned with state standards so that teachers could utilize those materials from elementary all the way to seniors, um, educational material that they could implement in their classroom and incorporate nutrition education. Following that, I ended up in a marketing job in public health. Um, once I began that job in marketing, I loved it, but they also saw my passion for education. So they tasked me with starting a health education program within the department. And I'm happy to say that we have a full up run in health education department now, fully staffed, and we continually take programs out into the community, um, whether it be dealing with nutrition education, um, sex education, um, vaccination education, all of those programs, wherever we see a health need in the community, we address that through a health education program. So just in a nutshell, my whole career has been training and educating on the adult level. And since my job here at the health department, um, in the marketing and as a, in training and as a program developer, I began to research more about instructional design and I found that this was a degree that kind of fit what I was doing but would take me to the next level and give me the credentials I need if I wanted to branch out in a new direction. So that's kind of how I fell into instructional design and I decided to go back to Trevecca because it was a wonderful school and I enjoyed my bachelor's degree there. And so, like I said, I'm about to complete it and I'm excited to show you my capstone project so stay tuned and you can see how we're finishing up. This is the Trevecca Nazarene University Capstone Project Overview by Amanda Bassingthwaite for the final instructional design project. When discussing the problem, the Christian County Health Department has on average 10 to 15 employees each year. The current onboarding process, it takes about three to four weeks to complete before the employee can begin their job specific duties. With a relatively small staff we have here, all employees, they're a necessity, and we need to have them onboarded and effectively trained in a limited amount of time so that they can be utilized as quickly as possible. Different departments, including human resources, accounting, technology, marketing, preparedness, etc., all of these departments have checklists and responsibilities that have to be completed when a new employee begins. In addition, there's various job-specific trainings that have to be completed, as well as state-required orientation, paperwork, all of the above that must be turned in to gain access to state database, state email server, and allow the new employee to be fully equipped to begin the orientation process. With all of the various checklists and the required trainings, at times there are items that fall through the cracks, and sometimes during the shuffle they get lost, and this slows down the orientation process. This is frustrating for both the employee as well as the department supervisor. Employees have also stated concerns with being overwhelmed during the onboarding process as they are moved from one department to another and they're covered in mounds of paperwork that they have to go through. And by the end of the process, employees forget pertinent details and everything just kind of seems like a blur. So the agency, we wanted to take a look at our current process and revamp the onboarding process and develop a final product that would help new employees effectively navigate the onboarding process and confidently complete all training necessary to begin their job specific duties. In addition, the final product would also ensure that all checklists from each department are completed prior to or during the orientation process as to alleviate anything falling through the cracks. Last but not least, um, we wanted to have the process clearly laid out in a final product that would allow the process to be completed in a shorter amount of time, and this would allow employee to begin his or her job specific duties in a timely manner.
As far as the objectives for this project, we wanted to identify essential paperwork, processes, and trainings each employee must have from each department. We wanted to identify what materials, including desk supplies, computer equipment, network access, email, passwords, etc., is needed for each employee. We wanted to streamline the various departmental checklists and procedures into one master onboarding packet, and we wanted to reduce the onboarding process from three to four weeks to one to two weeks. As far as the procedure, we have it laid out here in our timeline. We wanted to define the scope of the project, and the scope was, uh, we, we kind of discussed this already, but we wanted an agency-wide onboarding plan and implementation process. We wanted to meet with all department heads and to assess what items were a necessity within the onboarding process. And as we talked about, we had various departments that each employee has to go through and each have their own requirements. After meeting with each department head, we wanted to create an outline of each departmental material and present it to the department heads for edits. So once we discussed what each department wanted, we put together an outline specifically for that department just to recap and get approval for that's what they wanted. Then we wanted to work with the Human Resources Department to assess what processes were currently used in the onboarding process because our Human Resources Department is the one that oversees the onboarding process. And we wanted to see what processes need to be updated and which ones were required from the state. Then we wanted to draft an outline of state requirements and send it to the state oversight officer for approval. So not only do we have in-house supervisors that have their own agenda and things that need to be trained, the state also has an agenda and specific job duties that the employee has to complete. So after we got everybody's information and what they were requiring, we wanted to draft a master outline with all of that information from each department as well as the state heads to include content um, or all of the content, and we wanted to submit that master outline to the Human Resources Department for final approval so that he or she could look through it and check off that we have included everything that everybody wanted at the local and state level. After that um, outline was approved, we utilized Infogram to create a booklet that encompassed all of the content required by the state and department heads for the onboarding process. So we just took a bare or the outline and we made it pretty and put it into a booklet form that was easy to navigate. Afterwards, we allowed the state oversight officer and department heads to review the booklet and provide feedback and comments. And then we utilized the booklet with new staff to allow them to provide feedback on the process. So not only did we get approval from everyone who was over the booklet and had a hand in creating it, but once it was created, we let employees use it and gauge their feedback. As far as analyzing the results, we gathered data from department heads and state oversight officers and made changes according to what they wanted in the booklet. And then we gathered data from the new employees and made changes accordingly to how easy it was to navigate. And then following data analysis and changes, we developed a final report depicting time saved and the benefits of the new employee implementation process. And we presented the final report to human resources departments as well as the public health department director. Throughout the process, our intended audience was, of course, our new employees. We always try to keep our new staff in mind as we were creating this document and to structure it so that it was clear cut and easy to follow. In addition, the final product was also designed for our supervisors and trainers so that they could easily navigate the product and ensure that all orientation requirements were met. The setting for this project was within the Christian County Health Department. The orientation process is completed within the various departments in the agency. So far, we've hired four new employees since the start of the orientation process, and the feedback has been positive. Supervisors, they're happy with the speed of the orientation process, and employees, they're satisfied with the clarity of the process, and they say they feel well equipped when they've completed the process, and it's much less daunting, or the feedback we're getting is much less daunting than feedback we've gotten in the past. As far as continuing evaluation, we're going to continue to perform formative assessments as we hire new employees and learn of new and emerging training requirements. Based on these evaluations and based on the updates that need to be made as far as training requirements that may change, we'll make those updates within the orientation process as needed.
If you take a look here, this is the cover of the final product. If you would like to look at the full version, you can click the link below. Again, that will take you to my Weebly website and you can download a full version of the copy and take a look at it for yourself. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation of my capstone project. If you would like to see the final document in full print, you can click the link below. It'll take you to my Weebly site, and that'll give you a full depiction of the project as well as the final document. And in addition, you'll have access to all of my other products that I've worked on throughout the course here at Trevecca. So if you have any questions, you can also reach out to me through the website. Other than that, I appreciate your time, and I'm excited to be an almost graduate again from Trevecca Nazarene University.